welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a new viewer, then where have you been? Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you truly enjoy today's content. My channel is mostly about fashion and beauty, so if those are your topics, then stick around. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I missed y'all. So for today's video, I am in my bathroom. I have my yellow robe on for a reason. I'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine. This is what I do every single night. So if you guys are interested on how I do my nighttime skincare routine, then stay tuned. I always drink green tea with lemon before I go to bed, just to help all my food digest. It's also really good for your skin. Green tea, it's, it's the power drink. So right now it is 10.05. I'm going to sleep pretty early, no cap. This is pretty early for me. Um, I sometimes go to bed way later than this, especially on weekdays, just because I'm usually up doing a lot of things. Let's just dive right into this video. So the first thing I'll do tonight is wash my hands. You know, it is so important to make sure you have clean hands, just so you don't transfer the bacteria that's been on your hands throughout the day onto your face. You really want to keep your face super protected from those kind of things. Don't be a little nasty wash your hands before you wash your face. So to take off all the gunk on my face, like makeup and sunscreen, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Absolutely love this product. Um, out of all of the cleansing balms I've used, this one is definitely my top favorite one. You wanna definitely apply cleansing balms like or cleansing oils dry on your face. I know I had a little tiny bit of makeup on. Just to run errands, I don't really like to wear too much makeup on the weekdays unless I'm making content or taking photos. Sunscreen, you can definitely see coming off too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse the whole thing off. So the next thing I'm gonna use is my facial cleanser. Now that I'm done with my cleansing balm, so I'll be using the Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser by You To The People. This cleanser is my go-to for all seasons. It's good for all skin types. I always wash my face with my cleansing balm and my facial cleanser for one minute each. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse in the sink. So while my face is still kind of damp, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my serum. So for my facial serum, I'm gonna be using something to rejuvenate my face in the morning and to kind of get rid of the scarring and acne I have. I'm gonna be using the Polish Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with salicylic acid in it. This product says you can use it for day and night, but I find it more suitable for the night because it works better for my skin that way. I kind of use different serums in the morning, so this is perfect for night. And just kind of pat it on my face. This says you can use it every day. Especially if you're a beginner, I don't recommend you using it every day just because it could give your skin a reaction. I'm gonna let that serum sit for like 10 to 20 seconds before I start my moisturizer. For my moisturizer, I've been using the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream Kale Plus Spinach Hyaluronic Acid by You To The People. Put a good amount on all over my face. Now that it's winter, I kind of pack on the moisturizer. And then I just pat, just so it can lock in everywhere. I don't use eye cream I actually use eye patches just to create some extra moisture especially for the winter slash fall time tonight I'm gonna to be using some by Mary Kay it is their hydrogel eye patches it's been about 10 or so minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and take these eye patches off massage leftover juices just around my eye so the next step of my night skincare routine is 
to take care of any scarring or acne I have. So I know we did that with that exfoliator. I'm just going to give it some oomph. And I do this combination all the time. Um, it's not that bad, especially if you're not putting it all over your face and just on that specific spot. So I'm going to be using a spot cream. I'll be using one by Neutrogena. It is the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel. This was out in stores for so long, guys. Like, it took me a few months to find this product again, and I'm so happy they kept making it because I was so scared that they discontinued it. This is my top favorite spot cream. It is Maximum Strength Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Medicine. It claims to reduce size and redness in just two hours. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it... My forehead looks pretty decent. Lip scrub is definitely needed just to exfoliate your lips and get off all that dead skin that's been on there all day. For the lip scrub, I'm using one by Mary Kay. It is their Satin Lips Shea Sugar Scrub. Never forget your lips in your routine. Like, I feel like that's an important step as well, making sure your lips have the proper care for the night. And I do it in circular motions. Now I'm going to go ahead and use lukewarm water to scrub this off my lips. So I use an overnight lip mask. So tonight I'll be using one by Milk Makeup. It is their Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. Lip masks are perfect after you exfoliate just to lock in that moisture overnight. I'm going to be using some moisturizer for my neck and the rest of my body. I'll be using one by Mary Kay. It's our Satin Body Whipped Shea Cream. I love using this product. Never forget your neck and your chest. Like, that is so important as well, especially for the winter. I always use something for my eyebrows and eyelashes just to help them grow and stay moisturized. So I always use Hollywood Pure Castor Oil Certified Organic. So for my nighttime routine, I do sometimes like to switch it up depending on what my skin needs. So tonight, I gave it some acne love just because my skin needed to rejuvenate and get this acne off my face and acne scarring. So I use my exfoliator and my spot cream. Focus on what your skin needs and your skin will look a lot better. I see so many times people use so many different products and use it in the wrong way or use it at the wrong time. So you really want to make sure you use the right products at the right time just to get the ultimate effect of each product. Sometimes when my skin is perfect, no acne scars or acne, I don't need to use my polish choice. I will just use my moisturizer and then I'll go in with my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate Oil. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like today's content, make sure you guys give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more content from moi. So honestly, if you guys know a really good eye cream, leave it in the comment sections below. I'm still trying to discover a really good one. I have massive under eye bags and under eye bag issues, but I've always had it all my life. So if you guys do know a good one, leave it down, let me know. And I will see y'all next video.